healthy does not necessarily mean that you are going to lose weight. Most people tend to think that they tend to eat too much even if they're eating healthy and not get the results that they're looking for. That is why in today's video, I'm going to be shedding some light on ways in which you are overeating and you don't realize that you are overeating and it's sabotaging your weight loss journey. And if that's something you're interested in, then keep watching. What is up loves? Sheila here from madamebay.com where we share everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes, lifestyle and all that good stuff. If you're new here, welcome and for those that are old here, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. In today's video, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some ways in which you are overeating and don't even realize you are overeating. I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. The construction is getting higher and higher and it's getting closer to my floor. So it's the noise is crazy. If there is any background noise, I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, today's video is a continuation from this video, which is the previous video where I was sharing with you guys some tips on how to stop overeating. After sharing that, I saw the necessity to share with you guys some ways in which you might be overeating and not notice that you are overeating. So without talking too much, let's get started. Now, weight loss is about a calorie deficit and a calorie deficit simply means consuming less food than you burn. If you eat more food than you burn, then you're in a calorie surplus, which leads to weight gain. And it doesn't matter if you're eating very healthy, you will still gain weight. So I have about seven points to note out here, but the first point is like a three in one, which is pay attention to your drinks. Very many of us kind of overlook drinks because you think, oh, it's just going to go through me and I'm just going to pee. No, drinks do have calories. You have a soda, it has about 110 calories. You have like a latte, it has about 180. You have wine or beer, whatever, whatever it is you drink has calories. The only things that don't have calories are water and tea, coffee, stuff like that actually coffee has calories one or two but if you add milk then it has calories same as tea the ones i'm talking about without calories is black coffee black tea water those have no calories now for the purpose of today's videos the first thing we're going to talk about is smoothies and fruit juices i shared this post on instagram last week which was about oranges and orange juice one orange has about 40 calories and one juice has about five oranges and all of it can add up to about 200 calories and when you sit down to eat oranges do you eat five oranges no you always tend to have one as a snack and if you decide to have juice and you're thirsty and then you decide to have some orange juice it's fine but keep in mind that it has calories and those calories do contribute to your calorie deficit so if you consume most of your calories in drinks even if it's healthy or not those calories matter when it comes to your weight loss so be mindful another thing is smoothies now smoothies are one of my favorite things for you guys who are in my program you guys know it's the summer and smoothies are all over the place right now the thing about smoothies is what most people do is they put like three bananas uh, an apple a pear whatever all those things have so many calories let me ask you a question. Like I said earlier, when you sit down in a sitting, would you eat those fruits for breakfast, all of them and finish them? Three bananas, an apple, some strawberries, whatever. You do not, you can't eat all those in one sitting, but you can drink them. And when you drink them, those calories do matter. That is why I want you to be very mindful on what you're putting in your smoothies. Have one banana, maybe some strawberries, which are very low in calories, but you can consume as many. Just be mindful what you're putting in your uh, smoothies because it's really important. And it matters when it comes to the calorie deficit that helps you lose weight otherwise you will be overeating the second drink i'm going to be talking about is alcohol of course i have to talk about alcohol because in our general life people do drink and i have many clients that do drink and i want to mention this i did mention this last week and i also mentioned it in my instagram post it's okay to drink just be very mindful of what you drink because those drinks do have calories and those calories count it's a form of overeating without you noticing that you're overeating have you ever had beer and it's like you've, had, you've eaten food i actually did have this one friend in college that for him he never used to eat anything he drank so much beer and he felt like beer was food those calories matter and it's overeating so be mindful about the drinks that you're consuming the alcoholic drinks on top of that alcohol does um sabotage your weight loss journey because when you take alcohol, alcohol is turned into sugar and sugar is stored and the sugar is stored as fat. Also it slows down your metabolism because when you consume alcohol your body does not know where to put it and because it doesn't know where to put it it's going to take time to um, break it down and when it's breaking it down it's not doing anything else it's not burning fat it's not doing anything else just trying to break down that alcohol so try and be mindful of that the third 
drink which is not exactly a drink but it's something that's important to note is dressing now this one is something I need to point out because it happened to so many of my clients um, what I do in my programs especially the one-on-one -on -one programs I actually ask you to uh, log your food and I do share it on an app where I'm following up each and everything you're eating daily while I was checking out one of my clients uh, logs not one of my clients about three of them I noticed that they're having salad but their weight is not changing like they have salad for lunch salad for dinner and I'm like what is happening here something is wrong and I asked them what kind of dressing are you using I noticed that they're using supermarket dressing which is fine it's just not as healthy it's really high in calories one thing you need to note is that a tablespoon or a teaspoon of uh, olive oil or whatever is about 90 calories now imagine you're having a dressing that is best with olive oil and so many other things and then you just pour it in your salad of course it's tasty and it makes it so delicious that's what makes it so delicious all the sugar all the oil all the fats that is what makes it so delicious so just be mindful of that also if you want me to share some healthy dressing recipes with you guys let me know in the comment section down below i'll do that for you in a future video now let's move on to the next point the next point which is supposed to be the second point but technically it's the fourth because i divided the first one in two three anyway the numbers don't matter let's go to the next point the next point is avoid eating out of the park the reason why I'm saying this is sometimes you do it unconsciously like you sit down to watch a movie and what you get a bag of chips. A bag of chips is not the healthiest thing or popcorn or whatever, even if it's fruits and you get like a whole bowl of fruits. A whole bowl of fruits, fruits guys, they're healthy but they have sugar and they do make you fat. You have to be mindful. Well, sorry, fat is not the right word. They do make you put on weight because they are really high in sugar and sometimes you're consuming much more sugar than your body needs so you have to be mindful of that. On the other hand, for the unhealthy stuff, if you get like a bag of chips, what happens? You get the whole bag of chips and just eat it without even paying any attention to what's going on before you know it it's over and then you've overeaten you've self-sabotaged you've yeah self-sabotaged you've gone back to square one and what happens in most of these cases is that you feel shitty and i don't want you to feel shitty i don't want you to overeat and i don't want you to feel like you've let yourself down that is why if you have to have chips just get a bowl put it in a bowl and I mentioned this in one of my previous videos check out this video for a more detailed explanation because I don't want to go into that it's going to make this video really long and I was planning for it to be very short the next point I want you to keep in mind is be aware of healthy foods healthy foods they are healthy I'm not putting them in quotes because they're not healthy they are healthy for example avocado avocado is one of my favorite things in the world I have it for breakfast lunch and dinner to be honest but avocado is really high in calorie one avocado is about 360 calories if I'm not mistaken a whole avocado so imagine in a whole meal like a lunch meal you have your meal with a whole avocado on the side that's going to be about maybe the meal is about 500 I mean uh, maybe 200 to be on the minimal side okay 300 and the avocado is 300 you've eaten a whole 600 calories in one meal let's say your calorie intake for the day is 100 1200 calories that means you've consumed maybe a third of it in one avocado and this is going to keep you hungry and if it keeps you hungry of course what are you going to do snack you're going to eat more you're going to want to eat more because you're not feeling full and because you're not feeling full it's going to cause you to overeat very many small things another healthy thing i want to talk about that very many people eat actually this is a sister of mine who was talking about this and i thought i should share with you guys because i was talking to her and the one thing she likes so much is this granola bars not this particular ones but granola bars I did share a video where I made homemade granola and I told you the one thing about granola bars that you buy, they are really high in sugar and because they are high in sugar, especially if you're hungry before lunch, let me say, or dinner or before a big meal and then you're like, oh, I'm just going to have a bar. You can have a bar before working out just for some energy, but if you're going to have a meal, I suggest you don't have a bar before it because remember, these bars, they have calories and see how tiny it is? This little thing is between 140 to 250 depending on the brand that you buy, actually 290 depending on the brand that you buy. So imagine you've eaten such a small thing, 140 to 290 calories and then you could have had this meal over here for 300 calories, what would make you fuller for longer? Of course this meal, because this is so small, on top of that it has 
very high sugar and this sugar is going to increase your cravings and also if it's your first meal when you're hungry it's going to like shoot up your insulin which is just going to make you crave more foods want to eat more of this because you can actually sit down and eat like 10 of these in one sitting so be mindful of these things that are said to be healthy protein bars and stuff like that be very mindful because they have calories they can make you crave more and eat more so imagine one day you had a little avocado which is i mean a whole avocado which is 300 calories and you had like five of these that's like a whole 1000 calories spent on such small empty things the avocado will help you be fuller for longer because it's healthy fat but then it's small it will hold for a while but not for a very long time i'm very passionate about food because i love food and because i love food and i've always been overweight i struggle with my relationship with food and that is why i do what i do right now because i need to help people going through this because we all know what weight loss is about it's not it's about eating healthy it's about working out but we never get to doing these things and the reason why we don't get to doing these things is mindset and challenges that people go through personally anyway if you're having some challenges and you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, feel free to slide in my dm uh, check out my website if you want me to be your coach or actually just join the private Facebook group and you can ask any question all questions will be answered in there anyway I am getting distracted you guys I talk too much as you can tell I'm getting very distracted the next thing is avoid cheat days so cheat days are one of used to be one of my favorite and the reason why I say avoid cheat days stick more to cheat meals I said this I think in a previous video and I said this a lot to my clients avoid cheat days you can have a cheat meal even if you, you can even have like three cheat meals a week but do not have a cheat day because when you have a cheat day what most people do is they eat healthy the whole week and, and, over, and then over the weekend they eat whatever they want so imagine a scenario where to maintain your weight is 2000 calories so to lose weight you have to be in a 500 calorie deficit daily so what you have to consume is 1500 calories daily in order for you to lose weight the healthy way so you maintain a 500 calorie deficit for five days so five times five is two 2500 so you have 2500 calories saved and one kilogram or one pound you guys i'm not so sure about this don't quote me but i'll put it on the screen when i check it said to be around 3000 calories and now you've saved up on the one kilogram or the one pound for the week because you're almost coming to one to the 3000 calories that are in one pound anyway so the weekend comes and on the first day what do you do consume 3000 calories because you've had three meals and those three meals have a thousand calories each it's very easy to add up those 1000 calories in one meal especially if you're not eating healthy stuff so you eat 1000 calories every meal and those are three meals and that's 3000 calories that day and then the next day you do the same on top of drinking alcohol so think about this for a minute first of all your metabolism is going to slow down because you've been drinking secondly you've overeaten because this is your cheat day but that cheat day has covered up for 1500 plus 1500 the extra calories you've eaten over the weekend is 3000 it has covered up and is even extra that means if you go back and look at your week you're in a calorie surplus instead of a calorie deficit even if you are eating healthy all week you just end up not losing weight and this is really frustrating that is what yo yo diets are called where you lose weight gain weight lose weight gain weight i hate that so much and because i hate that so much i need to set this out for you if you've been doing that just be mindful instead of having a cheat day just have a cheat meal because it will really make the difference so i shared this post a few weeks ago on instagram which was about how often you should wear yourself and then a friend of mine commented on that post saying she hates weighing herself and the reason why she hates weighing herself is that she self-sabotages every time she sees any kind of progress that is why in the next video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how you can stop self-sabotaging in order to reach your weight loss goal so if that seems like something you're interested in subscribe to my channel ring the bell right next to it to be notified when that video is up so i'd like to know did you guys learn anything from this video and if you did let me know what it was in the comment section down below or share with me what kind of challenges you are having or how you are overeating if you have any questions whatever weight loss health wellness question you guys have leave it in the comment section down below i love answering your questions and i love talking to you guys because you guys watch my videos and i'm very very appreciative of that also if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and that way i know you guys found it helpful so if you guys want more weight loss related videos check out these videos over here and as always don't forget to stay motivated be patient trust the process and spread the love i'll see you guys in the next one Bye guys.